Hey guys, once again, Dark Antos here, and uh, we're continuing the campaign here of Bossy Jour, where we left off, of course. So we finished as all of the Trojan Docks, and uh, we uh, watched the end of the cinematic the night before the storm. So as for the assault of the Trojan Ducks, I did not put it when I like I reviewed the um, the scenario. I haven't done it in the most efficient way. Um, just put it simply, uh, as I was saying while playing it, I said that I should have controlled the fortress first. But at the same time, attacking the two uh, underworld passages that are next to each other is better, because uh, you know you cannot attack one of them without getting uh, aggro on all chimeras and manticores on the other. So it is best to attack the. The underworld passages that are close to each other, the two first ones, before you attack the last one. Because, you know, uh, as it's a snowball mission, they, um, they'll they only have a few Mexicos and Chimeras at the beginning, so they're more easy to deal with. And then the last one that you can leave for after, after you've controlled the fortress, you can um, you can just rush it by then, since uh, you won't have to deal with two underworld passages. And uh, given that you keep some units next to the cliffs uh, that are the south uh, path, uh, just, you know, to make sure you kill the Myrmidons that uh, will try to escape and inform Troy. I just want to get this out of the way because I did not like the way I handled this, um, this scenario specifically. Alright, so enough complaining <laughs> and the clarifications. Let's just head into the next scenario on unexpected turn of events. So we've seen the ending cinematic uh, for the assault. Merwin, Sibir, and Bilirofen chose to lay down, uh, lay low in, in the Trojan Cliffs. Rest in preparing for the upcoming fight. Also, we saw that the uh, Myrmidon or Trojan Guard was talking to their Cantos in his sail, saying that um, he's still holding breath, and that is good because um, he'll be prepared to uh, when they will be needing him. Because they're keeping him alive for some reason that we do not know what that reason is. So, yeah, we just got a glimpse of that, and uh, our heroes are now gonna strike Troy at their gates at full might, full strength. The day has come, everything went so far according to plan. Could it be any more perfect? And yeah. Let's get right into it. This, by the way, my second favorite scenario after the Forge of Hephaestus. Just because it's a pure assault. <clears throat> the ladders are ready. My Texaris will climb over, take down the guards, and open the gate for the siege weapons. Siege weapons are key to victory. They most likely have more than one gate. After all, Trojans love their walls. What about you, Sibrid? Centaurs are best for a quick short fight. We will follow from behind, covering your positions. We can all agree that a night siege would have been ideal for our plan, but we couldn't risk their scouts finding us. <laughs> Never fails to make me laugh. <laughs> Signaling Troy! I don't understand. My centaurs scouted the cliffs this morning. There were no signs of any enemy scouts, and, and yet. Curses! Everything was going so well! It is only a matter of minutes before that scout reaches the gate. Manwin, we need a change of plans. That's the defense signal. Yeah, no shit. Nothing changes. We're still taking that damn gate down. We must strike now while we can. The longer we wait, the more they fortify their defenses. Same formation as the docks. Keep pressure. Do not let them breathe. Protect siege weapons at all costs. All right, destroy the first gate. You have 20 minutes. Major defense is centuries and taxaris. Yeah. We'll need a good pierce resistance if you want to get through the first gate. Yeah, obviously there's a lot of shit going on here. We're gonna cover everything. So you know, to sum it up, the Trojans scouts were able to figure their location. They have a whole army sitting here under the cliffs. 
um, Hussam Central did not do a great job at scouting apparently. It's kind of um, a little bit of a joke because my friend Hussam always <laughs> fails to do something when you ask him to do so. Because so yeah, uh, I wanted to make him the reason why um, they got made. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyway, gameplay wise, um, you have 20 minutes before the Trojan army gets prepared. If it reaches 20 minutes mark, like you have to take down the gates and win. There are three gates in total. If it reaches 20 minutes uh, timer before you're done, doesn't mean automatically you lose, but there will be like, um, how do they put it? Um, Trojan forces returning from all over Greece. So they will go just start attacking you to your base, and if you, you lose your town center, you pretty much lose. This is pretty much a last condition, like unless you're at the very end, you're like 5 seconds or 10 seconds away from destroying the last gate. It doesn't automatically make you lose, but they will be sending shitloads of armies to your base, and there's no way to survive those. Not gonna lie, unless you use cheat codes or something. So uh, we're looking at here at um, this is the first gate behind it. Of course, a lot of sentries or villagers here building more sentries. And uh, as he said, the more we wait, the more they fortify their defenses. And there are here some um, um, Hussam will be mentioned in it or Sibrid will be mentioned in it. There are like archery ranges here that will be spawning a lot of taxatis, and there'll be hoplites spawning from here and coming all the way here. So the more you wait. The more units are gonna stack here in front of the gate. In front of the gate, I'm sorry. So you breach the first gate, you breach your second, until the third. So um, yeah, of course, um, everyone here said that the, the major defense is through taxatis and sentries. So that's a lot of pierce damage, and you will need a good pierce resistance to get through, and that triggers a side quest. Upgrade your pierce resistance to a maximum. See, this side quest here is a huge boost, and that's what we're gonna do right away. We're gonna start researching pierce resistance. So we're gonna go here for the armory. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, Meanwhile, since we're running out of time, we're gonna position our uh, units. Hippicons. Hoplites. Taxaris. And siege weapons, of course. Finally, centaurs. Heroes. Mythical units. Actually, let's get these out of the way so the mythical units can move. Just set them here and wait. Now, uh, for the resources, you have a lot of villagers I put here. We're gonna send a few here at gold. Um, you have a lot of resources, but the reason you put villagers is that whenever you run out, of, uh, you'll never run out of resources. All right. Okay. Let's put a few here towards woods. And uh, yeah, oops. actually, you know what? We need some villagers for me. Let's build a granary. I'm gonna send this guy all the way here because there is a boon hidden here. Uh, and that boon is pretty useful. Another thing I want to do, I'm gonna send my centaurs over here. So the f the way, the moment you send your villagers down here for wood, uh, there will be a lot of uh, wolves attacking them. So you always want to send the <laughs> the centaurs ahead to clear the uh, all the wild beasts. Should be the boot should be here. Oh, there you go. Boon of bronze. So, so this boon here is really useful. It gives you even more pierce resistance. Speaking of which, um, yeah, we gotta upgrade our pierce resistance even more. And now, though, now I can do the other researches since this will be the max pierce we're gonna get. Come on, what are you? Thank you. Hey guys, farms. There's none of you in total. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, of course the champion upgrades. You all you want to upgrade all your uh, units to champion. Let's get a worship in. Champion. Here, just keep them in queue. There you go. Side quest completed. Plus 20 pierce resistance to all human units. Plus the upgrade we got, and we have not even used bronze yet. Let me show you what kind of pierce resistance we have. Hoplites have 64% now, even more than the regular heroes. Harder. 
these are not human units, so it doesn't count. <laughs> it becomes about 65% piece resistance. <laughs> Taxaris, which are a shitty, you know, um, uh, soft unit or a uh, squishy unit, 58%. And let's check the heroes out. 89%, 83 and 89%. So that gives you like a, how important that side quest is. Uh, right, so we're, you were just, yeah, we're just gonna add some more uh, pop. Not that it matters, we're at 483. We're gonna set up the all the upgrades we need just... So we're so at any moment while we're sieging, we wouldn't have to stop. Trust me, like, you don't have to freak out. I know for a fact that we still have enough time in our hands. I think one more thing that I have to do... Oh, of course. These upgrades, we're low on gold. Alrighty, you know what? Let's just get right into it. I'm gonna save here. Um, just save on assault. Send the Taxaris and the Hoplites first. Oh, I'm sorry, the Hoplites and the Hippicals first. Set the Centaurs outside along with the Taxaris. Put the Centaurs here. And the Tuxari is here. And we're not gonna use bronze anytime soon, we're gonna wait. Do not let your archers attack buildings, they're, they're, that would be very useless. Like this. Okay, everything's fine here. Try to, try to go inside. Some said destroy the military buildings to prevent them from training forces. Whenever you destroy one of these buildings, um, it's gonna like stop one queue, so that's important. Try to get the Taxaris, try, try to get your troops inside, as I said. The moment you get inside, you're gonna make room for your Taxaris to come inside as well. This is the way we cast bronze. Should we? I don't know. Actually, here we can spawn. There is a lot of Taxaris and sentries surrounding your forces. Oh, in the meantime, get your siege weapons to uh, destroy these. Ballistas, in range here, destroy these. Try to make all your units busy. It's very important. We have villagers idle. Get on work. I'm gonna cast Restoration. Because the moment you kill these guys, you should be fine. This and this. I'm sorry if I'm being quiet, like obviously I've already said what I'm gonna what I'll be doing and I'm just doing it at this point. So very often already done the respawn at the chapel. That's good to know. And I put an announcer on it, that's good. This one these buildings so we don't have infinite units spawning. So these statues. By the way, the second objective is obviously to destroy the second gate. Consider building, rebuilding your armies for mission to push hackers and cavalry at the front and siege weapons and archers at the back, obviously, before striking the second gate directly. If your town set is destroyed, obviously. Or any of your heroes, two important heroes are dead, you lose. I think we might as well just ignore it. You know what? Let's not, let's not ignore it. We need to destroy these buildings. Now let's, let's destroy the gate. The fortress. That must be where they're keeping your friend. Dark Antos is there. Look at all their defense. Look at the city of Troy. It took me a while to build. <laughs> the last gate has runic protections. I have seen it before. We must find the protective wars and destroy them. So this is just like the swamps. There are certain uh, fortifications that we have to destroy to disable the last gate. And that's what takes a little bit of time here. Uh, just checking my upgrades. Reinforcements. That's good. There we have. 
there's a lot of shit going on. Okay, we're gonna explain what happened. So first we got reinforcements, obviously, and uh, one of I don't know someone got in range uh, of the. Uh, although it's not that close, there was a boon here within the pigs, and that is curse. I put curse next to the pigs, obviously, and uh, yeah, that gets it whenever somebody gets close. Uh, actually, it's weird how you actually get the power, although no one is in range. One of the pigs gets converted to you because a hoplad got in range because there are no uh, living units here. So the pig. I uh, got converted to me, and he claimed the Buddha was here. Just to explain what happened. Uh, I should have probably fixed that. I don't want a pig claiming a boon. He's Man? Okay, these guys. We gotta have to destroy these buildings, as I said. Now we destroyed this. Let's regroup our units. No, for fun, not these centaurs. Just... Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You're not a fucking user that gets left behind. By the way, here's the uh, rules we have to destroy. There are these statues. One statue, two statues. Oh, there are more units coming. There's a temple here. So there are three runes. This is the first rune. The second rune is um is these two statues, and the third rune is this temple, and it disables the the gate to attack it. We have ten minutes, by the way, which I think should be enough. Make sure you get your siege weapons uh, safe from uh, hack damage. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna aim for this and this, then go for the temple and then send some forces from the base here. Uh, usually what happens, you start losing units below 300 pop and uh, units will start coming all the way from your base. And you set those units to come here to destroy this one, so you don't have to travel all the way from where you're at to the last temple. I'm talking about the rules, because we're gonna destroy these these ones. I'm pausing by the way, because I, I don't lose time. We're gonna destroy this one, this one, and then this one. So we don't have to travel all the way back from here to this one. We will set whatever forces spawned at the base here. So yeah. Wait, let's not lose more time. We have here. There's a boon here, I'm gonna claim it, it's a restoration. Come on. By the way, I'm gonna start spawning units. Have a lot of cavalry, so might as well do this. There you go, and let's just spawn Medusas. This is why we got some cameras on our tails. We need to build a ruffle of the cameras. We need, we need heroes on the uh, on the mythical uh, units. Might pop a restoration anytime soon. Should I? Oh, we got uh, ballistas getting hit by hack damage. Can you kill this guy? Good. Nice. There, we, we, there's nothing to do here, you gotta move all the way here. That's the main plan. So you get on the buildings. So you don't have units spawning behind your back. One room disabled because we destroyed the two statues, now we gotta move to the temple. Get the rough and that's what respawn. Meanwhile, we have, we have uh, you know, the, the unit uh, spawn that we put on loop, which is good. We have a hero here, so it's okay. Hello, 
Okay, everyone's going, going, that's really good. Look at you guys struggling. Medusa, could you fucking one-shot this? Jesus. Thank you. Get on the temple. I'm sorry for the lack of commentary. There is literally nothing to cover here except for the information that we I mean, I already said what I'm doing. I'm going straight for the temple. So if you do the pattern that I've been saying, there's literally no way you run out of time. So... I know it's kind of a... I mean... Um, once you do this for the first time, you think that you don't have time for upgrades and shit, but you actually do. So you have time for upgrades, and actually, if you do your upgrades correctly, uh, you'll be even more efficient time-wise to clear everything and survive even more. And avoid what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm attacking these Minotaur or these Manticores. I can literally just go here and clear them uh, using something else. I think what we have here is enough. We have enough heroes for the Chimeras over there. One Medusa will take care of it. Not both, you dumb fucks. I'll assume one of the Medusa still have its uh, cooldown. Why are they stuck? In any case. Where the heroes at? Could you get on the fucking cameras? Jesus. Another rune disabled. Let's fuck off. Pilarofen's here. Good, 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 good. good. Let's get Pilarofen here. For the chimeras. We got pigs here. No, don't use. Oh, God. I hate that Medusa's use that ability for regular units. One of them still, still, still have her cooldown for the cameras, right? Good. Where's the for that? Jesus, the belly side slowing them down. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, whatever, just kill them. Good. So we're gonna do here, with the units we have here, we're gonna run all the way to the last uh, rune, destroy it. In the meantime, could you kill this? Thank you. Let's get on these guys. And these guys will be standing here in front of the gate, waiting for it to be uh, to become vulnerable and destroy it. That's, that's the plan. Oh no, don't fight these, there's a lot of shades here. Just ignore them. I hope we'll be able to destroy this. Before we get wiped out, could you make him even more stone hard? <laughs> nah. Normally, very often we'll jump here. I don't know if he can jump on a built-in unit. Already with his jump on fucking shit. Get on it! Get on it! Get on it! Yeah, looks like he can't jump. I'm gonna use his jump here just so yeah, just for mobility. Okay, we they got it. Okay, now you're gonna take the, the gate down ASAP. You wanna have units already ready here. Because uh, there will be. Every 10 seconds, there will be a fuck ton of ballistas and units count spawning here. It says it here destroy the final gate. The Trojans will unleash all their units at once to secure the final gate. Swiftness is of the essence. So every 10 seconds, you got a bunch of uh, units spawning here. Give it a few. Um, a minute, and there's no way you can take the gate down. So you should have them at the ready, as I did here. I'm gonna cast the restoration here just to make sure my siege weapons are fine. See what's happening? I think we're gonna get it. Yeah, there's no way we don't get it. Right? Right? And that's game. That was quick. And yeah. Whew. So that's uh, an unexpected turn of events. I'm not sure why I lost, but doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you know, you know, I, I should actually start doing this. Um, whenever I finish the scenario, I should disable the, the lost triggers, like losing a hero. That's I'm pretty much what happened here is I lost a hero. Um, yeah, it's okay. We're just going to play the end cinematic from here. Deceptive surrender. In case you're, uh, you, you're unlocking the levels of the campaign one by one, don't worry not. If you if you got the winning announcer, you will unlock the next, um, the, the next thing that comes right after the end of cinematic and level that comes right after it, you will be unlocking them regardless. So you can just go back to the uh, menu and play the 
the cinematic. That's it. So as I was, uh, yeah, uh, just for the for that scenario, um, it's a pretty quick scenario that just has a lot of micromanagement and decision making. So of course you always make sure you got all the upgrades, put the villagers to work so you never run out of resources. And yeah, you just forgot your base and keep pushing, keep pushing. That's it. That is literally it. Make sure you do the side quest. Of course, it is very crucially important that you do the side quest for Pierce resistance. Uh, that way, your cent the sentries do nothing to your human units. Otherwise, you're going to lose all of your units to sentries and dexodes. You know, magic cores, because that's Pierce resistance, Pierce damage as well. And with that said, let's watch the end of cinematic. The gates are down. The walls have been breached. Could this be the victory of our heroes? Uh, the he our heroes sought for so long. The city within Hellfire. Let's watch it. And this cinematic is probably one of my uh, favorite characters that I voiced. Matter who we are. What matters is our plans. What you've made it this far. Therefore, the name is Swigalem, fifth general of the Trojan Empire. Or what's left of it. General, we're here. Let us discuss the terms of your surrender. Smooth. What's left of it? <laughs> My surrender? <laughs> <laughs> so, you thought you'd just destroy a few gates, breach the walls, and that's it. The war's over. A little siege, and the entire Trojan Empire falls. How could you be so gullible? Did you really think that this is so much of war? That you can win with steel and rocks. I made sure to give this guy a reference to Bane from Batman The Dark Knight Rises. In case you guys don't know why. Even his voice. Erebus is a realm for the dead. It is not meant to collide with the mortal world. Ah, Bill Raffin, you're as naive as your gods. You thought you could defeat me so easily, <laughs> fool. It is forbidden for any god to interfere directly within the mortal world. Hades shall answer for his crimes. Is he though? He rained hell upon Olympus. Zeus has been weakened. And here you are clinging to mortals. Look around you. You've lost whatever forces you had left. You are trapped. How the turntables. <laughs> That's an office reference. How Many blows up your sleeves, Norwood. <laughs> <laughs> to let you know that I know my grammar. <laughs> Hold on to me. Now! I thought you couldn't do it on your own, Bellerophon. Lord Zeus left me one charge of his lightning transportation. To return home when I had to. Our last chance wasted. I let my man down. Hades broke the rules of Olympus. There is no returning back from that. Him and his Trojan dogs will pay. Oh, we barely have any forces left. This is the north gate of Troy. Yes, 
I have one last plan. I want to put in work. And yeah, that's it. <sighs> probably one of my favorite cinematics. I mean, all the upcoming cinematics, three or four of them, are probably my favorite of all the campaign. So, of course, what happened is that they breached the walls and they reached the, the very depths of Troy and they found Swigalem, which is actually banned for Batman. <laughs> Just kidding. I just love that character from Batman so much that I decided to, uh, you know, give him his lines and make his, give him his voice. And, uh, yeah, so in any case, um, the Trojans made a pact with Hades himself. So the whole city of Troy is within Erebus. All right. So the city is within hell. So whenever they die, they just respawn as if they are, they are in hell itself, in the underworld. That's what happened with Suigalem, their general. By the way, Suigalem, fun fact, Suigalem is just Melagius in reverse <laughs> because it's... In the game, it's called General Melagia, so I couldn't come up with a better name, so I just called him Swigalem. Uh, yeah, so Swigalem um, revived the very, resurrected the very moment uh, Bellerophon killed him. So yeah, and he told him that it's forbidden for any god to interfere directly within the mortal world, and they will, Hades will answer for his crimes, because you cannot just, you know, make a city within Erebus just like that. As it's known for, it's known for Greek mythology, if gods interfere directly with, it, with mortals, I mean, that could have severe consequences, just like Zeus could interfere in uh, the Age of Mythology main campaign. And uh, basically what happened here, Bellerophon said that he has one last plan, that he wants to put in work. And uh, I guess the next title gives it away, Deceptive Surrender. As I think we already know what this is. <laughs> there has only been one Deceptive Surrender in the history of Greece. I mean, you can't make a Trojan campaign without the Trojan horse, right? <laughs> Our, our allies have one last desperate plan up their sleeves. Will it, will it fight? <laughs> and of course, that's a reference to Ajax. And yeah, so that's the next scenario. And right after it, the last scenario of the campaign. Siege within Hellfire. So yeah, um, so as I say, an expect turn of events can be a tough scenario to, um, you know, to achieve. A lot of people have been complaining that I should, like, up, I don't know, increase the, the duration of the... Um, um, the uh, I'm sorry, the, the timer before um, the Trojan armies arrive, but I just showed you guys that it's actually achievable. And by a lot of people, I mean like I don't know, four or five people. <laughs> it's not there hasn't like been much people playing my campaign anyway. So uh, yeah, so it's totally doable. Uh, a bit messy. You probably have to do it two or three times to get it done from the very first time. I mean, I know my shit because since I made it, but yeah, it's totally doable. I do believe it. It's definitely doable. And yeah, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Then again, if you have any questions, hit me up on social media or any of the platforms I uploaded the campaign to. And until next time, bye-bye now.